بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دس ویڈیو آن اوریکل ایپیکس ٹو ون پوائنٹ ٹو اینڈ آئی ول ڈسکس موبائل ایپلیکیشن ہاؤ اٹ از انکارپوریٹڈ ایز اے نیو فیچر ان دس ریلیز کالڈ ایز پروگریسو ویب ایپلیکیشن پی ڈبلیو اے اینڈ آئی ول ٹرائی ٹو شو یو موبائل ایپلیکیشن ڈیولپڈ ان اوریکل ایپیکس ان لیس دین ٹو منٹس hardly i mean just a basic with uh, maybe one form and uh, a listing right okay agenda would be uh, developing mobile applications using apex we should or we shouldn't i mean just to give you uh, a brief on it what are progressive web applications pwa and their comparison and then few tips and tricks the way i found it to develop mobile application in apex and then a demo to create a mobile app and then we'll see how it will look on the mobile uh, itself okay <clears throat> now i will show you uh, a mobile uh, sorry uh, oracle apex application before enabling pwa and after enabling pwa right this is how it will look like with the uh, urls uh, of uh, the website if you see here right this is in the chrome right so if you see here this is how it will appear the the current are existing the way it is because you can use um, oracle apex uh, application in uh, the browser right by uh, typing the url okay now after enabling pwa in the same application now i was able to create a shortcut key a shortcut on a mobile app this is android uh, samsung phone screen so this is how i installed it i will show you how to install that and then when i click it it will give me this login screen instead of this url now it is a full screen right and then here it is this is now full screen of pwa of oracle apex on a mobile phone android mobile phone and the good thing is same way you can open the same application on your uh, ios wow develop once use on different platforms okay i wanted to show you this reflow report this is normal uh, interactive report and this one is reflow report uh, this is how reflow report works on mobile phones so when size of the screen will reduce it will automatically change its layout so now you have to go down to see more records right as compared to this row into column but uh, on the big screen or on the desktop it will show like this so this is how the way you want in ir you have to scroll on the right to see the uh, data and uh, hit below is the uh, reflow report right okay this is how there is a comparison uh, native versus pw pwa okay this is uh, the table i just uh, uh, created my own uh, just to share a comparison so native versus pwa native means uh, um, developed using the mobile technology and deployed over there so development on the pwa is easy as compared to native apps this is what i feel and i will show you as well portable very easy here it is tough you have to develop for uh, android and then ios and you know so many things over there this is not uh, straight forward uh, costly yes pwa is less costly here it is high cost uh, time required less in the pwa but on the other side it is more time required to develop an application limitations yes pwa will have more as compared to uh, um, native applications right native application of course they are developed for that platform so you might get more features or controls or things like that right hosting in stores right play store and ios both are possible right so this limitation is not there so even you can host oracle apex pwa application in the stores uh, ios uh, play store whatever okay few tips and tricks which i found 
keep things simple when you are working on mobile Sim simple means don't write very complicated reports or queries or things like that you know keep it simple use reflow instead of ig or ir i showed you why it is there avoid complex queries or complex data fetch try to avoid full page loads refresh refreshes if possible use same page regions if wizard needed let's say if you want to uh, use a wizard better to you know show uh, show and hide and show uh, these uh, regions on the same page so you will not load another page and you know things like that so you have to work smartly use oracle standard functions avoid own logics don't write so many pl sequels this and that it might slow your application itself avoid heavy images and use lazy load use proper indexes use oracle role security instead of creating own don't create your own complicated security this is mobile app you know and keep it separate for mobile apps uh, you know it's, it's, it shouldn't be that like you are developing a complete erp on the mobile app okay if you are on 21.2 then uh, pwa enabling is very straightforward easy but it is if you are on the prior version you can follow this link uh, below i have uh, shared uh, which will show you steps how to uh, do this pwa in in, in apex right okay now let me take it to a demo over here <clears throat> okay okay let's i think i can click here right but how can i click this now wait a moment okay i got it now right so here it is uh, let me close my existing sheets which are there okay this is just a fresh erp stuff this is my site sorry this was an existing session okay right and this is i just developed one sample report just to show a uh, couple of pages and then let me uh, start it right if you see this is uh, application so which i was showing you that was this reflow report uh, uh, this one and the top is ir so if i will reduce this and see how it became now the reflow report but ir is still in the same format right but when i maximize it it is in the tabular format right okay now i will click this because this will come on your uh, pwa enabled application right this install app so i'm just clicking it here it says you have already uh, installed it so if it is already installed then you have to uninstall first right so since i have installed it uh, let me open from there once you install it will come here right so this is my shortcut so now i will click this shortcut and i will start this application from this shortcut right so if you see here it is direct without opening chrome chrome minios or nothing is there right this is separate independent window and the same way you can use it here right and if you see here now my install is not there because i am already in the installed application mode right so on the top you have you will have this one uh, uh, these options uh, this uh, trip three dots so here you can see let's say open in chrome uninstall zoom whatever all these options are there so if you have to uninstall you can just click uninstall i'm i'm just i will remove it and it will just close and it will remove this uh, 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 shortcut links right and application so this is how you will do on your uh, uh, desktops right okay now let me show you 
how you can enable it and from where you can enable it right and same way you will you do on the mobile app as well you will open on the mobile app after login you will click this one then next time you don't need to you will just click on the shortcut and it will work and in the presentation i showed you the screenshots okay now let me quickly show you how to develop a new report uh, a new application right i will create new application and by the way i am on 21.2 apex.oracle.com and my compatibility mode should be 21.2 right okay when you will uh, try to create this one uh, demo app right if you go down a little bit you will find this one install progressive web application so this must be checked right okay and if you want to change anything else up to you you want to add any pages over here at the mo at this time you can add or maybe i will add from here and let me I, I will add a form or maybe uh yes form should be better or after uh, uh okay okay it, it has okay page name is my test test page page and my table name is uh, let's say js underscore mobile uh, uh, underscore ma mobile application I, let me just take this parties uh, include report if there is something advanced you can put it there right and create application right finishing up ok let me run it I just gave uh, two minutes that's it right and if you see here we got the install app and we will install it as well right so our report ready form is ready let me create something right it is there excellent now let me install it install right my application is installed let me minimize that and this is how my application is and same i can open on uh, my uh, mobile Android as well as iOS and I will just click install from here there will be install uh, uh, link and that's it you are there okay now let me show you <coughs> normally how wh what it will do I mean in, in the back and where you can check if something is missing or whatever so the first thing you have to check from here application definitions or you can go here and application properties both are same so if you come down one thing you should have friendly url enabled right number one number two you will come to progressive web application enable progressive if you want to enable if you want to disable you can disable as well and at the same time installable do you want to allow you can disable from here right that's it rest there is a manifest file and i'm all those things i don't want to go into details but apex is doing everything for you you have to just enable from here and that's it okay another thing is maybe sometimes you are converting maybe existing application to uh, this one so you will come here and you will go to templates uh, uh, theme sorry so if you will go to themes then it might need refresh if you are on a previous version and you are moving to a, a latest version let me show you one more thing compatibility mode from where you can check you can come here uh, sorry where was that compatibility this one this compatibility mode should be 21.2 then it will when you will change it it will ask to update the refresh the theme if it is uh, existing version so you must do that one as well just see if any other option is selected 
this uh, PWA features will not be available. Enable. Then you have to follow that link I shared in the presentation as a um, manual sort of things where you have to place a couple of files on the root of your uh, website. And another thing is uh, your URL should be HTTPS, not HTTP. Right? This is uh, another tip. So I hope you like this. Uh, I will show new feature or capability of Oracle App as a uh, mobile application right and I if I'm not wrong it took us maybe 30 seconds to develop our first mobile app using Apex and now we are ready to deploy right please share your comments thank you very much Allah Hafiz